Barbara. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have a look first. You were right. You want to be sure about this before you do something you might regret. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. It really, really hurts. And it's only gonna get worse. A dog, you say? Do you think it could have had rabies? Out here? Who knows? Right now, that's the least of your concerns. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, okay. I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stitches. It's pretty safe in there. It'll be a good place to stitch up my arm.
House meeting in five minutes. Best. Best for it. it won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine. <laughs> Got a book. He doesn't need to be a part of this. Somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They said we got her last You think she's a big one, do You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgle. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. You have to bandage it, like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. 
Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be so cool. If I help you, will you leave me alone? I don't want to get in trouble. I'll get the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. need some bandages though. That man sometimes. Have this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his. Exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding.
on, leave her out there to die. Better her than us. You'd have done the same. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, well, firing your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll be clear to me on fire. This is gonna suck. fun part. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me.
what the... How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Can I please come inside now? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I didn't do anything. Exactly what Sarah says every time I catch her in a lie. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand.
Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But. It didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, you're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> 